Hi guys, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop <clears throat> and I still got this cold. I'm sorry. I'm eating cough drops, so sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> I had a couple emails about the clutch disc assembly. There's two different styles, basic styles. Uh, a few years back, my boss at work found out I blew the engine on my snapper. Now this isn't Tim, not the boss I'm rebuilding his snapper. This was his father. And uh, he says, Jim, I got a snapper behind my garage I don't use anymore. Why don't you come and get it? You can use it, have it until you get yours fixed. Well, when I got mine fixed, he didn't want it back. But the clutch on the old Comets were not this type of a clutch, these slip. These they call a soft start. And that's the biggest issue everybody has with their snappers when they won't won't go or they slip. They won't go up a hill. It's because of this goofy thing. You have to tighten up your yoke spring to get away from the slippage you're getting from this. <clears throat> These clutches that were on the old Comets were a solid steel disc and the clutch plate bolted onto it solid. That's where I came up with the idea of bolting these solid. Now there's a problem with that. <clears throat> if you've got kids these things will pop wheelies. Your rear engine, you have no weight in the front. If you have a bagger on with a lot of crap in the bag, like my yard's mostly sand, these things come up in the air very easy. This was off my old 28 inch machine. That's now my model I use in the shop. And I made this one at work. And it has a, a, a boss sticking up that centers this on to the disc. These have to be centered. If they're not, I mean, and it doesn't take a lot, they will sit there and bounce as it's going around. <clears throat> so if you do mount these solid, you have to center them as best you can, and I tell you how to do that. If you have kids that's going to be driving this thing, I probably wouldn't do it. Get a new clutch for it and tighten up your yoke spring and it should work just as good as these old ones did. Now I've had some questions about how do you change the clutch or I'm missing parts in my clutch assembly. Well this is the one you're probably going to have on your machine. You want to check to make sure you've got good material around here and that it's not all chewed up like this one is. To replace these, these will be mounted on your chain case right here. You do not take off the center nut. I did that to get it off of the chain case. You take off these four half inch nuts. You take off your oh, you take off your plate. You take off your thrust washer. Now this does absolutely nothing but dampens the noise of this thing rattling back and forth. Why they call this a thrust washer? It doesn't it doesn't give you any thrust on making this thing work. And you can see how sloppy this is. So then your clutch disc comes off. Now this is this diameter here and the inside of this clutch disc is actually what drives your machine. <clears throat> now if you look in here, you're gonna see some material that actually kind of looks like brake material. I don't know what it's made out of. And if it's made out of asbestos, I guess I don't really want to know about it. So when this clutch is on your chain case, 
you put your new clutch disc on. Now this one has holes drilled in it. Yours will not. This one I had bolted solid. Then I took it apart because uh, I wanted to use it for a model to show how these things come apart and go together. And then you put your clutch disc on. Put on your little thrust washer. If you're missing this, I don't know how much they are. I would think if you go down to the hardware store and you got yourself a piece of uh, gasket material, you can make one out of that. I'm thinking you can make yourself one out of a piece of cardboard off the back of a notebook pad. Stick that on there. It doesn't have to fit tight. As you can tell, this one's all chewed up. Put that on there. Then you put your plate on. You put on your four nuts. You need a half inch wrench. I'm sorry, these are not half inch nuts. They're five sixteenths nuts. You need a half inch wrench. And that is it. You have your new clutch on. It's all there is to it to put it on. It's all there is to it to get it off. Very simple. When you buy one, sometimes you'll get them without that material inside. And they're not going to work. Steel to steel is going to slip. Some manu or not manufacturers, some places that sell these, sell that material separate. So if you call them on the phone, make sure that's in there on the one you're buying. Or buy it from somebody else. I get mine from partstree.com. They have a wonderful website. Very easy to go through and find what you need. And I guess that's about it. There's not much to it. If you have any questions or comments, throw them in that box below. Don't forget to subscribe. Give the videos a thumbs up if you like them. If you don't, give them a thumbs up anyway, because that helps spread these videos out to other people that are looking for help. So if you find these helpful, let's help somebody else too. It does not help me. I have no sponsors. I have no financing. I just do this basically because I enjoy doing it. So until next time, work safe, have fun, and I guess we'll talk to you soon. See ya.